hello 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 hope everyone is having a really good day today Anyways, i just wanted to really briefly talk about these markers these are the artisan acrylic paint markers that you can get from hobby lobby they're i i believe if i remember correctly i think they're 14.99 each and they come with six markers a pack and with a 40 percent off coupon from hobby lobby i think it'll be like eight dollars at most or something like that but they're really really good markers um to use as on the go acrylic paint um i like whenever i travel i really always bring some sort of art supply and the last time i went somewhere i had my watercolor palette and i was just as much as i wanted to paint i just didn't feel like doing a watercolor because it was making me think too much and i didn't want to put in that much effort in doing a watercolor and I absolutely love acrylic painting because if I mess up, I can fix it. Like I can just color over it and be done with it, right? But with watercolor, you can't really do that, I feel like. I mean like, yeah, there's ways to fix mistakes, but I think once a mistake happens, it's really, really hard to fix. Um, anyways, so my solution was these, right? I really like them. They're really cheap. They, there's four packs to them, so they come with a good variety of color if you collect all four packs. And they're really, really fun to use. One of the things that I did find lacking was their blendability. They have a felt tip marker. They have like a bullet tip and like a small chisel tip. The bullet tip is the bigger one and the chisel tip is smaller. Anyways, um, I don't know if you can hear that. That's my dog laying and huffing puffing on the floor anyways um they uh, aren't exactly the best to blend so like i said my solution at that time was to grab a paintbrush and just to use it as like like i said just an acrylic painting and just blending it out and i think these would be perfect on the go markers if you really want to do something really nice on the go sort of thing like definitely grab a aqua brush it would make it blend so nicely. Anyways, in the last picture, I wanted to just draw a random jackalope and then it felt empty, so it kind of went a little brutal there with the shotgun. So I'm sorry if anybody was triggered by that. It was just a concept I thought of, right? Playing way. Anyways, um, on this painting, I was just, like I said, I was just doing a lot of random artwork. I wasn't really thinking about what I wanted to do. So I decided to do a dinosaur. I forgot what kind of dinosaur this is called. But anyways, I decided to do a dinosaur and this time I didn't want to do the blending with the um, water and the brush just because I wanted to see how it would feel if I could just, if I could blend it out with just the marker. And yeah, you really can't blend it out with just the marker. It gives it a really, really streaky look and it doesn't look all that good. But I think all the acrylic paint markers are like this. I haven't gotten a chance to try the Poshka yet. And I know everyone really, really likes those. And I really, I only have one. And I was shocked at the price tag. So I was like, oh boy. I think I got it at Joann's. And it was like $6 for one marker. And I was like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll eventually get those. I just don't know when I'm going to get them. But, um, these are, I feel like, I really honestly do feel like paint markers are all the same. Oh, by the way, I also have the painter's marker. Um, I got those at Walmart for on clearance, so I had some of those on here and Montoya, and uh, they were on clearance too. So, but the main the main thing I was trying to talk about was the Artify, right? But as you can see, like the dinosaur was still streaky, and then we get to this part, and I actually didn't realize it stopped recording at some point when I was doing this so I lost the first part of the footage but this one I decided to do a parrot and I was blending it out a lot and it took it really well I mean I'm really happy with this piece like it came out really pretty like the colors look gorgeous I mean they're really really vibrant markers um What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are the Montoyas. The green ones right there? Yeah. Like, I didn't know if I had shown them in the first place, but they're 
they're all the same to me. Like paint acrylic paint markers are all the same. But anyways, I was trying to talk about the Pashka and I don't know if they blend well. Like I've seen some people do it and I don't really think they blend that well. I haven't gotten a chance to try it yet. So when I do, I'll definitely give a review on it. <clears throat> but I think it doesn't matter. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But I was going to say, I don't think it matters the price tag on these items. Um, honestly, I think no matter what, they're going to come out like streaky. So I don't think the price tag is going to matter whether or not they come out right. So if you're looking for a quick on-the-go acrylic painting um, kind of set where you don't have to lug around your paints, I definitely recommend just getting paint markers. They're fun to use. Paint markers a brush and a little thing of water. You're good. You can make some nice gorgeous paintings. Of course, you're not going to make like anything that is probably going to be like a archival anything. I don't think they're archival at all. Like, or anything you might want to sell. Who knows? Maybe you do want to sell some of the paintings you do with this. Like for me personally, I wouldn't be looking into uh, selling this kind of artwork just because I don't feel like it's good enough to put on like a um, store or anything I for some people it might be I just I don't know like to me these are just fun to use and to draw but not for like really hard wait no that sounds wrong you know what whatever just do whatever you want I, my own preference is yeah I wouldn't sell these uh, I, I wouldn't no I wouldn't make a artwork with these with the intentions to sell that's what I mean Ooh boy, that took forever to come out, right? Anyways, in this one, I didn't really want to waste my blue. So I was just blending it and it didn't come out as well as I wanted it to. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really, really fun to do. So like I said, I definitely recommend just getting some acrylic paint markers if you ever just want to do some quick art. Anyways, sorry for the rambling, but yeah, this was fun.